let me show you the finished product of Pam's solar install. So I just had her come back over and we added the MT50 remote screen which goes inside. So that lets her monitor the solar system. It's the same uh, MT50 screen that I have inside of my rig. Oh gosh, you gotta love lithium batteries. The solar is at 40 amps and total, because I'm running the generator because it's overcast, so we're putting uh, up to 90, look at that, almost hit 100, into the batteries right now, charging them. So about 40 amps from the solar panels, 90 amps total to the batteries charging them. My gel batteries could take 15 amps each, so times three, that was 45 amps max. So here's what she's got up top. So she's got four 100 watt panels up here. There's her wiring gland that we talked about in the last video. And I did end up using uh, butyl tape for sealing. So that's perfectly weather sealed. Now I am gonna have her swing back. She's gotta go pick up a tube of uh, Dicor sealant. So I'm gonna put Dicor on all the screw heads and then all weather tape over top of that. So this has VHB tape underneath every bracket and then self-tap screws, die core on top of the screw heads, and then all weather tape over the bracket. And now down here, so here's her charge controller installed on the back wall. And so here's the ethernet cable that we were waiting on that just finally showed up. That goes inside to the uh, MT50 screen. These are the two power cables that run under the truck and over to the batteries. And then these are the input cables, the ones that you just saw up on the roof that come down from the panels themselves. So the panels, the wires come through here, grommet, wire loom, up into the charge controller from the panels and then out from the charge controller over to the batteries. Again, a uh, wire loom on all of this that it runs under the truck. So she's got a reed out here and then the MT50 screen inside just basically mirrors what she can see out here in a, a nice, easy to read format. So they come up here. Uh, I've got them secured to the back wall and then the blue cable splits off and goes behind this panel to inside and then here's where the the uh, cables go up to the panels themselves up on the roof so it's snugged up against the wall there these are some really nice screw-in wire holders that I use they they really are great and you can zip tie to them and they're screwed in so they're never going to come loose hi everyone uh, Pam is over today we're going to be doing one last bit, I think I mentioned it in the last video, we're going to put an MT50 remote readout screen on the inside of her rig so that she can monitor what the charge controller is doing and the status of the battery. So she just got that yesterday, so she dropped by. We're going to install that real quick. All right, and here's what we just added. So this, this hole was actually already here. I just enlarged it a little bit so that the Ethernet cable could come through. And then over to the MT50. And she decided to put it on that wall there. You know, you reach over and touch, and there you get the readout. She's got smiley face. And I left a uh, peeling of the protective cover for her. I said she gets to do that on her. So this is all buttoned up and screwed on nice and securely. And she's all set. And I'm going to send her on her way right now. She's cooking a chicken in the oven. It smells so good in here. <laughs> Lefty was going bonkers so he's inside our rig he couldn't handle it i thought it would be a good chance to meet pam ask her about her rig uh and she can tell us whatever she'd like so hi pam hello <laughs> so pam uh do you want to share with anybody uh why you're out here and and uh and how it's been for you well i just felt like my house had become sort of a tomb and I didn't want to die there, and I wanted to shake my life up so that things that couldn't be shaken would be what was left. So I 
really want to get in touch with, you know, God and myself and okay. have that relationship be stronger. Okay. So it's, it's both uh, mostly a spiritual quest uh, to get out here and meet people. Mm -hmm. Because as you know, in a fast-paced life, people don't have... They don't mean as much as they do out here. I mean, it seems like when you're not having to worry about feeding your children and working on a job, you can focus on people more. And I wanted to do that too, and I have met some marvelous people. Oh, that's good. So so you, has, has all of that, has it been a good journey so oh, far yeah. for you? Yeah. Okay. A lot of it was uh, pretty solitary, like, when I was in Michigan, uh, sometimes I was the only one in the campground for like a week or so. Is that where you is that where you started up in Michigan? Well, at first I kind of rotated with my family, but you know that wears off after a while. What, like in their driveway? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they I've they, been they there. want you to leave, so you kind of get the feeling if you're sensitive yeah. that you need to go yeah. to another family member. Anyway, I did that. And then when I went up to the UP, I was three miles from my sister's house, which is on Whitefish Bay. And so that was kind of cool. You know, I was still independent, but yet I had the security oh, yeah. of being near my family. But yep. here... That's not the case. My family is, what, 2,800 miles away? Mm -hmm. And uh, so I really am alone mm -hmm. in, in one sense. How long have you been living in your rig? I would say eight months. Eight months? And it's been very comfortable. Okay. You know, one step at a time, it's a work in progress. Mm -hmm. Like I have 12 gallons of fresh water. I don't have a water system yet, but... I have a big Berkey filter and I have these little things you just turn them and water comes out, you know, containers. Yeah. And then I have the tea kettle, which is what how I make my coffee, mm -hmm. um, things like that. And I have a stove and an oven so I can cook. Yeah. And but, you, aren't you say you're cooking something right now? Yeah, pork roast. In the oven? Yeah, with lots of vegetables. And, and it's cooking while you drove here? Yes. <laughs> That's great. It's been in there since 4.30. But the thing is, you know, um, my friends don't have an oven, so so I bought the pork roast, and they bought all the veggies to go with it. And, oh, nice. It's um, a community. Right, yeah. right, because they don't have an oven, and, uh, and I might as well use mine. But I didn't learn how to light it until just about uh, three weeks ago. Oh. And, you know, it's like... I can't do everything at once. Yeah, yeah. I can't learn everything at once. Does it, it has a self-igniter? Uh, no, I have to get down there with a... And I have to put it on pilot, and then I have to push it while I'm lighting. Oh, I see, yeah. The, yeah. Um, but that's not hard to do. Can you... Um, so what, what... Tell us about your rig. What year is it? It's a 2012. 2012, and it's a Duramax Chevy. Sure, Duramax. Yep. And I see you bought it from Phillips. Philip in Pennsylvania. Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Yep. They um they specialize in ambulances. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I've seen them uh, many of their rigs for sale. And they they do go over them. Head to oh yeah, they do for sure and uh, take care of any problems yeah. and they're very honest they'll tell you if there's something wrong they'll tell you and how many miles were on it when you got it <laughs> 200,000 200,000 yeah that's not uncommon yeah and it runs my fine. brother said it just means there was they that it was their favorite ambulance yeah there you go and it runs okay it runs fine mechanically have you had any issues with it only coming down the mountain on my way here I put on the brakes too much, mm -hmm. and I didn't know how to lower the gear, and I see, and it kind of shook. That was the only time, and I stopped and let it cool down and continued tapping. Yeah, my brakes. Well, I had the same problem, uh, even even with uh, taking overdrive off and um, 
So just, I'm uh, kind of scared. How am I going to get home? Yeah. <laughs> Well, um, we'll look at your uh, shifter there and see how you can turn your overdrive and stuff off and downshift. Okay, because it does say M, manual, but what does that mean? Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll take a look at it. Um, so I, I showed a little peek of the inside of your rig the other day, and I wanted to go sure. show it a little more in depth because it really is pretty special, I think. Yeah. And I wanted a place that was pleasant. And so this is my pharmacy. <laughs> it's not a spice rack. So you, you, who did you have do this customization for you? David Sowers. Okay. And uh, he is in Michigan, Milan, Michigan. How did you find him? My brother knew him. Oh, I see. He had done some work for my brother. Okay. And my brother knew he had the skills to pull it off. Mm -hmm. He worked at an RV company, and he modified RVs and stuff. Mm -hmm. So um, what he did was he he looked at the the he downloaded the schematics, and he worked with the system that was already here, which uh, I'm glad because I don't know anything about that. I wanted them to work with the structure that was already here. So, mm -hmm. you know, yes, I would have rather had my bed that way, but that's just too much alteration had to be done in order to. Well, get yeah, that. you would have lost your outside cabinet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, and of course, I've had nothing done to the ceiling. Right. It's just like it was. Well, that always gives you a little project to work on. Yeah, if you it want. does. Yeah. Um, but this is a very comfortable bed. It's very it's thick. Not, it's not made. <laughs> and it's and this, not. Is, this is permanently in this position? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I leave it that way. Because, uh, you know, if I want to lay down and take a nap, I don't have to mess with getting the bed out. Sure. Yeah, I have to do that every night. It's, you know, it's sometimes I don't feel like doing it, but. It has to be done. And then uh, I kept some items from my house. Oh, know, that's, the nice. Clock and that's nice. These are bread baskets that I ordered on Amazon. Mm -hmm. So they look like they're cabinets, but yeah. they're not. Interesting. And it just helps me be a little more organized. And this is my closet where I keep my clothes. It's cedar line. Oh, that's fantastic. A cedar line closet in your ambulance. <laughs> that's fantastic. Um, and this also is a continuation of my clothes. And then, of course, I have a shoe rack because I'm a shoe. Uh, I have collector. so many. You collector. Yeah, <laughs> shoe collector. And you have like, a full walk through to the cab. I'm Al DeMarcos. Yes, and I put some fake stained glass yeah. up there. Oh, that looks terrific. And somebody said, oh, is that real stained glass? <laughs> I mean, they were, they were rolling their eyes up in their head because for some reason people when they first see this are shocked they don't expect to see i, I had no nothing to go by i can only say that i i asked for tongue and groove i didn't get it i got bead board but that's fine no it is really it's very homey feeling and really comfortable in here and they're not carpenters either they're mm. just not mm -hmm. they they did this uh, there are things about it that you can tell they they aren't carpenters. No. <laughs> That's okay. And they left a lot of the original vinyl, which I I have no reason to change out. Sure. Yeah. I'd like to put a bookcase across the back there. Oh yeah. Uh, take that death clock out is what they call it. The death clock? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Yeah, when someone died uh, in the ambulance, I guess. That's the where they get the time. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. And. Um, but other than that, you know, everything's strapped down pretty much. Um, no, it's really, really comfortable. And if I want to sit down and and eat, I just sit here. Mm -hmm. um, but eventually, boy, eventually I'd like to have a booth bed there. In the UP, there's mosquitoes and stuff. Uh -huh. So I use lace because the screen was wearing out, but the lace keeps mosquitoes out oh, and great. I have a lace curtain for the back when I'm there because I have no fan so 
when I'm camping, I, I, I got to leave the doors open yeah. if it's hot. Yeah. I mean, sometimes even here at night, if it's 50, I'll leave one of my doors open. Mm -hmm. To get some air movement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I yeah. do have a fan that if it gets really bad, I can get mm -hmm. the fan out and plug it in. Well, one thing I noticed, um, like you said, the guys that, that did this work, that gentleman, he didn't he didn't rip things apart. He he utilized some of the existing switches over there. Yeah. All the wiring is still intact. Everything yeah. that I've looked at, so I think he did it a good job. It looks like an AI is in that closet. <laughs> the power cabinet, yeah. Yeah. He he respected the the ambulance and he didn't mess it up. Right. In fact, part of the cost of building this out was the fact that he had to learn the ambulance. Before. Oh sure. Yeah, I I can understand that. Yeah. And he charged me for it. <laughs> uh, well, this is really great. Thank you for letting us look in here, and thank you for showing it to everyone. Oh, well, you're welcome. I really man. appreciate it. Maybe, you know, if someone has an idea of how they want their interior to look, this yeah. might help them. Oh, I'm sure this is going to trigger a lot of people's ideas. Yeah. Well, Because let's go. It, it can look like home. That's yeah. what I want. Yeah. No, and it feels like it. Well, let's go ahead and get your MT-50 installed so you can get out of here and go eat your pork roast. <laughs> Come on, Lev. Come on. Come on. Okay. Come on. Pause one second here while he goes crazy. What do you got? Lefty, you got the newspaper? The Daily Bugle? <laughs> so anyway, that's not hard to do. Is um, I, I have some night vision goggles that I don't know how to use. As just an example, somebody will show me how to use it. Um, when it comes to this kind of stuff, I, I just don't know anything. Dude. <laughs> I would not want to be that new I mean, you could oh do some God. damage if you wanted to. I, I would not want to get God. on his bad side. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey! Watch it. Oh, oh, my God. Boy. Laugh. All that pent up energy. We just walked for over an hour, man. Hey! Well, maybe that just got it started. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, it smells so good in there. All right, everyone, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed seeing Pam's rig. Everybody take care, be safe, and we'll see y'all again really soon. And Pam is over there picking up fancy rocks. There are some really great rocks around here. It's an addiction. <laughs> it's an addiction. And you can find gold, too. Yeah, but if you find it on my property here, you got to hand it over. <laughs> Are you being a good boy? Hey, he just raising heck today. Let me see. Oh, look, he, anything like plastic when he's inside the rig, he'll uh, pull on it, tug on it. Hold on. Stay right here. Just came back from town and somebody got something. This is a very large box. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. 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 Let me get a tool. I wonder if my knife will do that. Hold on. Oh my gosh, Kong! Oh, what is this, a wubba? <laughs> oh my, oh my goodness! Huh? What is it? This is neat. Oh, it's got shaker. Oh my goodness. And a, a Kong cozy, it's a little puppy. Oh my God. What? Oh, get you. <laughs> uh, this was uh, this was sent to us. Oh boy! 
Oh boy. Is that for Lefty? Oh, get it. Oh my goodness. Oh, nice and chewy. I've got to go look at the, the message. I can't think off the top of my head who sent this, but thank you very much. This is, uh, he, oh, he's been, okay. <laughs> he likes these, uh, okay. Okay, that's enough. There you go. One more, okay. Those are soft ones, he likes those. Soft and chewy, real beef and filet mignon. You gotta be kidding me. And I'm thinking about eating soup for lunch today with ground beef in it. You got me beat, brother. What is this? 10 pounds each. That's 20 pounds of milk bones. If y'all don't quit spoiling him, I'm going to have to get a trailer and start towing a trailer with all the lefty gear in there. 